what's going on guys is danny here i just woke up last night uh, the, the last day before reset we had to push over 1 million honor because we had a bra bracket breaker what a way to end the journey with over 1 million honor and this is going to be the first time to log in now on wednesday morning rank 14 rank 14 Oh shit! Hell yeah, man! Yes, rank 14, baby! The first priest and the fifth overall rank 14 on Firemall Horde. Oh my god, we did it, dude! We did it, let's buy, let's buy them, let's buy them! Oh, stuff! Spellblade, healing mace, offhand, healing offhand. Oh my god, dude. And there it is. The healing combination. That's the healing combination. <laughs> and that's the damage combination. And that stuff right there. It's just sick looking ass stuff, man. Oh my god. I can't even speak. I I have a bit hard time speaking when uh, when I just woke up. Oh guys. You probably are wondering how how did it go? How was the whole journey? How how did rank 14 happen? A little bit from rank 0 to 14. I was standing too with 1 million 500 k uh no 1 million 50 k honor <laughs> uh from from rank 0 to rank 14 so basically pvp system came out and everybody was really excited about it there was a ton of world pvp um everybody wanted to rank at first before everyone got bored or burned out or they didn't enjoy it um but my my patience and commitments helped me a lot to stick through it and keep it going and finish it but at first everybody was pvping a lot so anyone that you meet in the world would fight you back people were making a group of guildies friends going out to pvp and rank so at first it was extremely fun it was like a really good way of ranking you are either alone or with a group of people you meet enemies if you win your fight you get honor if you don't win your fight you don't get any honor makes perfect sense at first i didn't care too much about maximizing honor either i just wanted to kill alliance man i just wanted to kill people when i see them and it was so fun and then uh, a little bit later on a few weeks after um it felt like more of an honor farm because a lot of people stopped ranking so it's like you would start killing people when you see them because you need honor but a lot of people didn't fight back they were just farming something in the world or mining herbing or they were on their way to a dungeon so it became more of like an honor farm and uh, after that battlegrounds came out at first outrack valley was uh, absolute meta everyone needed reputation so it was really fast queues you would like crush horde versus alliance sometimes alliance tries to rush and horde stops them and then horde wins or alliance successfully wins so outer Arc valley was really fun another thing is it was my first time ranking it's my first time playing classic wow didn't play any vanilla private servers much just leveled a little bit on one um and uh, it was all really fun for me it was not like boring and annoying as it was for people who have done it two three four times before so then outer Arc valley came out and um you would fight for honor again and outer Arc valley was actually pretty fun fast queues and everything after that um alliance found out that they can pre-made so it started having this uh 
really boring games of 7 minutes. Alliance pretty much forced everyone to play a PvE game because that's that was their game. All they wanted to do was just straight up rush to Drektar and kill him um, while killing every other elite on the way. So the best honor for Horde was to uh, honor trade. Like you also kill every single elite and every lieutenant, commander, etc. And then uh, the 7 minutes loss or 8 minutes loss gave you 3k honor at best. 2.5 to 3k honor so then it became a bit boring again um also horde had 25 to 30 minutes queues so to maximize honor for horde you would pretty much do um world pvp which was honor farm because people didn't fight back if alliance wanted to rank they would pre-made av and they have insta queue so the, the alliance in the world they would um just farm something or you kill them on their way to a dungeon again and then you go into an av and you lose in seven minutes so that period of time was like the super boring and disappointing and i got really sick at one point and i was gonna stop ranking at 12 but then i said i have to finish at least 13 so stick through it be patient it's going to be fine do it for the gear not because of how it is so there was a really boring period of it and um, I was gonna quit it but also Warzone Gouch was really good honor. Warzone Gouch was as good honor as AV if you had a good pre-made to win most of the time and we set up a pre-made with the guild and there is nothing more fun than grouping up with a bunch of friends or guildies and you know jumping on discord and laughing having fun or try harding to win. We started meeting the best pre-mates like apes. It was really, really fun to play against apes pre-mates. Um, we didn't win every game against them, but we managed to win a couple. So that felt really, really good. And after that, when AV was fixed so that Alliance cannot pre-mate it anymore, Warzone Gouge became absolute meta. Until now, what day is today? 26th of February. For the last four weeks um and from now on i guess it will be the same no more patches no more fixes to ranking uh, warzone gauge was absolute meta best way to get honor if you are in a super good pre-made you would pull like 15 16 up to even 19 k honor per hour and people who are grinding av and world pvp would do 7 maybe 8k honor per hour at best so warzone gauge pre-made best honor best way to control the brackets and everything that's how everyone says it should have been since the very beginning but yeah wow classic ranking went through a lot of periods a lot of different uh, metas that i got to experience it was the best ranking experience if you started as soon as the honor system came out so that's pretty much the whole the whole story of it the whole journey man actually so nice um, I will see you guys in future videos. Thanks a lot for watching, supporting me. Much love. Have a good day, guys.